Islamabad, Urdu, Aslamabad Punjabi, Aslamabad Islamabad SLMBD, is the capital city of Pakistan, and is federally administered as part of the Islamabad Capital Territory. Built as a planned city in the 1960s to replace Karachi as Pakistan's capital, Islamabad is noted for its high standards of living, safety, and abundant greenery, with a population of 1,014,825 as per the 2017 census. Islamabad is the ninth largest city in Pakistan, while the larger Islamabad Rawalpindi metropolitan area is the country's third largest with a population exceeding 4 million. The city is the political seat of Pakistan and is administered by the Islamabad Metropolitan Corporation, supported by the Capital Development Authority Islamabad is located in the Pothoha Plateau in the northeastern part of the country, between Rawalpindi District and the Margala Hills National Park to the north. The region has historically been a part of the crossroads of Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, with the Margala Pass acting as the gateway between the two regions. The city's master plan, designed by Greek architect Konstantinos Apostolou Doxiadis, divides the city into eight zones, including administrative, diplomatic enclave, residential areas, educational sectors, industrial sectors, commercial areas, and rural and green areas. The city is known for the presence of several parks and forests, including the Margala Hills National Park and Shikarparian Park. The city is home to several landmarks, including the Faisal Mosque, the largest mosque in South Asia and the fourth largest in the world. Other landmarks include the Pakistan's National Monument and Democracy Square. Islamabad is a beta global city, it is categorized as very high on the Human Development Index, with an HDI of 0.875, the second highest in the country after Lahore. The city has the highest cost of living in Pakistan, and its population is dominated by middle and upper middle class citizens. The city is home to 20 universities, including the Quaid e Azam University, PIEAS, COMSATS Institute of Information Technology, and NUST. The city is one of the safest in Pakistan, and has an expansive surveillance system with 1,900 CCTV cameras. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The name of the city, Islamabad, is derived from two words, Islam and Abad, meaning, City of Islam. Islam is an Urdu word which refers to the religion of Islam and Abad is a Persian suffix indicating an inhabited place or city. The name is influenced from the Mughal name for the port city of Chittagong, previously known as Islamabad. Topic History Topic <inaudible> Early History Islamabad Capital Territory, located on the Pothoha Plateau of the Punjab region, is considered one of the earliest sites of human settlement in Asia. Some of the earliest Stone Age artifacts in the world have been found on the plateau, dating from 100,000 to 500,000 years ago. Rudimentary stones recovered from the terraces of the Sone River testify to the endeavors of early man in the interglacial period. Items of pottery and utensils dating back to prehistory have been found. Excavations by Dr. Abdul Ghaffar Lone reveal evidence of a prehistoric culture in the area. Relics and human skulls have been found dating back to 5000 BCE that indicate the region was home to Neolithic peoples who settled on the banks of the Swan River, and who later developed small communities in the region around 3000 BCE. The Indus Valley civilization flourished in the region between the 23rd and 18th centuries BCE. Later the area was an early settlement of the Aryan community which migrated into the region from Central Asia. 
Many great armies such as those of Zahir Adin Baba, Genghis Khan, Timur and Ahmad Shah Durrani crossed the region during their invasions of the Indian subcontinent. In 2015–16, the Federal Department of Archaeology and Museums, with the financial support of National Fund for Cultural Heritage, carried out initial archaeological excavations in which unearthed the remains of a Buddhist stupa at Ban Phachiran, near the Shah al Aditta Caves, which was dated to the 2nd to the 5th century CE. Construction and development When Pakistan gained independence in 1947, the southern port city of Karachi was its first national capital. In the 1960s, Islamabad was constructed as a forward capital for several reasons. Traditionally, development in Pakistan was focused on the colonial center of Karachi, a tradition which President Ayub Khan wished to abolish. Karachi was also located at the southern end of the country, and exposed to attacks from the Arabian Sea. Pakistan needed a capital that was easily accessible from all parts of the country. Karachi, a business center, was also considered unsuitable partly because of intervention of business interests in government affairs. The newly selected location of Islamabad was closer to the army headquarters in Rawalpindi and the disputed territory of Kashmir in the north. In 1958, a commission was constituted to select a suitable site for the national capital with particular emphasis on location, climate, logistics, and defense requirements, along with other attributes. After extensive study, research, and a thorough review of potential sites, the Commission recommended the area northeast of Rawalpindi in 1959. A Greek firm of architects, led by Konstantinos Apostolos Doxiadis, designed the master plan of the city based on a grid plan which was triangular in shape with its apex towards the Margala Hills. The capital was not moved directly from Karachi to Islamabad, it was first shifted temporarily to Rawalpindi in the early 60s, and then to Islamabad when essential development work was completed in 1966. <laughs> Recent history Islamabad has attracted people from all over Pakistan, making it one of the most cosmopolitan and urbanized cities of Pakistan. As the capital city it has hosted a number of important meetings, such as the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation Summit. In October 2005, the city suffered damage due to the 2005 Kashmir earthquake which had a magnitude of 7.6. Islamabad has experienced a series of terrorist incidents including the July 2007 siege of Lal Masjid Red Mosque, the June 2008 Danish embassy bombing, and the September 2008 Marriott bombing. In 2011, four terrorism incidents occurred in the city, killing four people, including the murder of the Punjab governor Salman Tazir, construction of the Rawalpindi Islamabad Metrobus, the region's first mass transit line, began in February 2014, and was completed in March 2015. The Rawalpindi Development Authority built the project at a cost of approximately 24 billion rupees, which was shared by both the federal government and the provincial government of Punjab. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography and climate. Islamabad is located at 33.43 degrees north 73.04 degrees east, 33.43, 73.04 at the northern edge of the Pothoha Plateau and at the foot of the Margala Hills in Islamabad Capital Territory. Its elevation is 540 metres 
The modern capital and the ancient Gakka city of Rawalpindi form a conurbation, and are commonly referred to as the Twin Cities. To the northeast of the city lies the colonial era hill station of Murray, and to the north lies the Haripur district of Khyberpakhtunkhwa. Kahuta lies on the southeast, Taxila, Wa Khant, and Attic district to the northwest, Guja Khan, Rawat, and Mandra on the southeast, and the metropolis of Rawalpindi to the south and southwest. Islamabad is located 120 kilometers 75 miles SSW of Muzaffarabad 185 kilometers 115 miles east of Peshawar 295 kilometers 183 miles NNW of Lahore and 300 kilometers 190 miles WSW of Srinagar the capital of the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir the city of Islamabad expanses an area of 906 square kilometers, 350 square miles. A further 2717 square kilometers, 1049 square miles area is known as the specified area with the Margala Hills in the north and northeast. The southern portion of the city is an undulating plain. It is drained by the Kurang River, on which the Rawal Dam is located. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. Islamabad has a humid subtropical climate, Köppen, CWA, with five seasons: winter (November to February), spring (March and April), summer (May and June), rainy monsoon (July and August), and autumn (September and October). The hottest month is June, where average highs routinely exceed 38 degrees Celsius (100.4 degrees Fahrenheit). The wettest month is July, with heavy rainfalls and evening thunderstorms with the possibility of cloudburst and flooding. The coolest month is January. Islamabad's microclimate is regulated by three artificial reservoirs, Rawal, Simli, and Kanpur Dam. The latter is located on the Haro River near the town of Kanpur, about 40 kilometers (25 miles) from Islamabad. Simli Dam is 30 kilometers 19 miles north of Islamabad. 220 acres 89 hectares of the city consists of Margala Hills National Park. Loy Ber Forest is situated along the Islamabad Highway, covering an area of 1,087 acres 440 hectares. The highest monthly rainfall of 743.3 mm in was recorded during July 1995. Winters generally feature dense fog in the mornings and sunny afternoons. In the city, temperatures stay mild, with snowfall over the higher elevation points on nearby hill stations, notably Murray and Nathia Gali. The temperatures range from 13 degrees Celsius 55 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 38 degrees Celsius 100 degrees Fahrenheit in June. The highest recorded temperature was 46.6 degrees Celsius 115.9 degrees Fahrenheit on 23 June 2005 while the lowest temperature was minus 6 degrees Celsius 21.2 degrees Fahrenheit on 17 January 1967. The city has recorded snowfall. On 23 July 2001, Islamabad received a record-breaking 620 mm of rainfall in just 10 hours. It was the heaviest rainfall in Islamabad in the past 100 years and the highest rainfall in 24 hours as well. <laughs> Cityscape Topic. Civic administration 
The main administrative authority of the city is the Islamabad Metropolitan Corporation IMC with some help from Capital Development Authority CDA which oversees the planning, development, construction and administration of the city. Islamabad Capital Territory is divided into eight zones, Administrative Zone, Commercial District, Educational Sector, Industrial Sector, Diplomatic Enclave, Residential Areas, Rural Areas and Green Area. Islamabad City is divided into five major zones, Zone I, Zone II, Zone III, Zone IV, and Zone V. Out of these, Zone IV is the largest in area. Zone I consists mainly of all the developed residential sectors while Zone 2 consists of the underdeveloped residential sectors. Each residential sector is identified by a letter of the alphabet and a number, and covers an area of approximately 2 km times 2 km The sectors are lettered from A to I, and each sector is divided into four numbered sub-sectors. Topic. Sectors Series A, B, and C are still underdeveloped. The D series has seven sectors D11 to D17, of which only sector D12 is completely developed. This series is located at the foot of Margala Hills. The E sectors are named from E7 to E17. Many foreigners and diplomatic personnel are housed in these sectors. In the revised master plan of the city, CDA has decided to develop a park on the pattern of Fatima Jinnah Park in Sector E14. Sectors E8 and E9 contain the campuses of Baria University, Air University, and the National Defense University. The F and G series contains the most developed sectors. F series contains sectors F5 to F17, some sectors are still underdeveloped. F5 is an important sector for the software industry in Islamabad, as the two software technology parks are located here. The entire F9 sector is covered with Fatima Jinnah Park. The Centaurus complex is a major landmark of the F8 sector. G sectors are numbered G5 through G17. Some important places include the Jinnah Convention Center and Serena Hotel in G5, the Red Mosque in G6, the Pakistan Institute of Medical Sciences, the largest medical complex in the capital, located in G8, and the Karachi Company Shopping Center in G9. The H sectors are numbered H8 through H17. The H sectors are mostly dedicated to educational and health institutions. National University of Sciences and Technology covers a major portion of sector H12. The I sectors are numbered from I8 to I18. With the exception of I8, which is a well-developed residential area, these sectors are primarily part of the industrial zone. Currently two sub-sectors of I9 and one sub-sector of I10 are used as industrial areas. CDA is planning to set up Islamabad Railway Station in Sector I-18 and Industrial City in Sector I-17. Zone 3 consists primarily of the Margala Hills and Margala Hills National Park. Rawal Lake is in this zone. Zone IV and V consist of Islamabad Park, and rural areas of the city. The Sone River flows into the city through Zone V. Islamabad, Rawalpindi Metropolitan Area When the master plan for Islamabad was drawn up in 1960, Islamabad and Rawalpindi, along with the adjoining areas, was to be integrated to form a large metropolitan area called Islamabad, Rawalpindi Metropolitan Area. The area would consist of the developing Islamabad, the old colonial cantonment city of Rawalpindi, and Margala Hills National Park, including surrounding rural areas. 
However, Islamabad city is part of the Islamabad capital territory, while Rawalpindi is part of Rawalpindi district, which is part of province of Punjab. Initially, it was proposed that the three areas would be connected by four major highways, Murray Highway, Islamabad Highway, Son Highway, and Capital Highway. However, to date only two highways have been constructed, Kashmir Highway, the former Murray Highway, and Islamabad Highway. Plans of constructing Margala Avenue are also underway. Islamabad is the hub all the governmental activities while Rawalpindi is the center of all industrial, commercial, and military activities. The two cities are considered sister cities and are highly interdependent. <laughs> Architecture Islamabad's architecture is a combination of modernity and old Islamic and regional traditions. The Saudi Pak Tower is an example of the integration of modern architecture with traditional styles. The beige-colored edifice is trimmed with blue tileworks in Islamic tradition, and is one of Islamabad's tallest buildings. Other examples of intertwined Islamic and modern architecture include Pakistan Monument and Faisal Mosque. Other notable structures are, Secretariat Complex designed by Joe Ponte, Prime Minister's Secretariat based on Mughal architecture and the National Assembly by Edward Dural Stone. The murals on the inside of the large petals of Pakistan Monument are based on Islamic architecture. The Shah Faisal Mosque is a fusion of contemporary architecture with a more traditional large triangular prayer hall and four minarets, designed by Vedat Dalake, a Turkish architect and built with the help of funding provided by King Faisal of Saudi Arabia. The architecture of Faisal Mosque is unusual as it lacks a dome structure. It is a combination of Arabic, Turkish, and Mughal architectural traditions. The Centaurus is an example of modern architecture under construction in Islamabad. The Seven Star Hotel was designed by W.S. Atkins plc. The newly built Islamabad Stock Exchange Towers is another example of modern architecture in the city. <laughs> Demographics According to 1998 census, the mother tongue of the majority of the population is Punjabi at 68%, and the major dialect is Pothohari. 15% of the population are Pashto speakers, while 18% speak other languages. Similarly according to 1998 census, the total migrant population of the city is 1 million, with the majority coming from Punjab. Around 210,614 of the migrated population came from Sindh and rest from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Azad Kashmir. Smaller populations emigrated from Balochistan and Gilgit Baltistan. The majority of the population lies in the age group of 15 to 64 years, around 59.38%. Only 2.73% of the population is above 65 years of age, 37.90% is below the age of 15. Islamabad has the highest literacy rate in Pakistan, at 88%. 9.8% of the population has done intermediate education equivalent to grades 11 and 12. 10.26% have a bachelor or equivalent degree while 5.2% have a master or equivalent degree. The labor force of Islamabad is 185,213 and the unemployment rate is 15.70%. Islam is the largest religion in the city, with 95.53% of the population Muslim. In rural areas, this percentage is 98.80%. Per 1998 census in urban areas the percentage of Muslims is 97.83%. 
The second largest religion is Christianity, with 4.07% of the population, 0.94% in rural areas and 5.70% in the city. Hinduism accounts for 0.02% of the population, and other minorities 0.03%. Economy Islamabad is a net contributor to the Pakistani economy, as whilst having only 0.8% of the country's population, it contributes 1% to the country's GDP. Islamabad Stock Exchange, founded in 1989, is Pakistan's third largest stock exchange after Karachi Stock Exchange and Lahore Stock Exchange, and was merged to form Pakistan Stock Exchange. The exchange had 118 members with 104 corporate bodies and 18 individual members. The average daily turnover of the stock exchange is over 1 million shares. According to the World Bank's Doing Business Report of 2010, Islamabad was ranked as the best place to start a business in Pakistan. Islamabad's businesses are Pakistan's most compliant for paying tax dues. As of 2012, Islamabad LTU large tax unit was responsible for 371 billion rupees in tax revenue, which amounts to 20% of all the revenue collected by Federal Board of Revenue. Islamabad has seen an expansion in information and communications technology with the addition to software technology parks, which house numerous national and foreign technological and information technology companies. Some jobs have relocated from India to Islamabad. Awami Markaz IT Park houses 36 IT companies, while Evacuee Trust house 29 companies. Islamabad will see its third IT park by 2020, which will be built with assistance from South Korea. Culture. Islamabad is home to many migrants from other regions of Pakistan and has a cultural and religious diversity of considerable antiquity. Due to its location on the Pothohar Plateau, remnants of ancient cultures and civilizations such as Aryan, Sonian, and Indus Valley civilization can still be found in the region. A 15th century Gakka fort, Farwala Fort, is located near Islamabad. Rawat Fort in the region was built by the Gakas in 16th century and contains the grave of the Gakka chief, Sultan Sarang Khan. Saidpur village is supposedly named after Said Khan, the son of Sarang Khan. The 500 year old village was converted into a place of Hindu worship by a Mughal commander, Raja Man Singh. He constructed a number of small ponds, Rama Kunda, Sita Kunda, Lakshman Kunda, and Hanuman Kunda. The region is home to a small Hindu temple that is preserved, showing the presence of Hindu people in the region. The shrine of Sufi mystic Pir Mehar Ali Shah is located at Golra Sharif, which has a rich cultural heritage of the pre-Islamic period. Archaeological remains of the Buddhist era can also still be found in the region. The shrine of Bari Imam was built by Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. Thousands of devotees from across Pakistan attend the annual URs of Bari Imam. The event is one of the largest religious gatherings in Islamabad. In 2004, the URs was attended by more than 1.2 million people. The Lok Versa Museum in Islamabad preserves a wide variety of expressions of folk and traditional cultural legacy of Pakistan. It is located near the Shikarparian Hills and boasts a large display of embroidered costumes, jewelry, musical instruments, woodwork, utensils, and folkloristic objects from the region and other parts of Pakistan. Topic education Islamabad boasts the highest literacy rate in Pakistan at 98%, and has some of the most advanced educational institutes in the country. A large number of public and private sector educational institutes are present here. 
The higher education institutes in the capital are either federally chartered or administered by private organizations and almost all of them are recognized by the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan. High schools and colleges are either affiliated with the Federal Board of Intermediate and Secondary Education or with the UK Universities Education Boards, O, A Levels, or IGCSE. According to Academy of Educational Planning and Management's report, in 2009 there were a total of 913 recognized institutions in Islamabad 31 pre-primary, 2 religious, 367 primary, 162 middle, 250 high, 75 higher secondary and intermediate colleges, and 26 degree colleges. There are seven teacher training institutes in Islamabad with a total enrollment of 604,633 students and 499 faculty. The gender parity index in Islamabad is 0.93 compared to the 0.95 national average. There are 178 boys only institutes, 175 girls only, and 551 mixed institutes in Islamabad. Total enrollment of students in all categories is 267,992, 138,272 for boys and 129,720 for girls. There are 16 recognized universities in Islamabad with a total enrollment of 372,974 students and 30,144 teachers. Most of the top-ranked universities, National University of Sciences and Technology, COMSATS Institute of Information Technology and Pakistan Institute of Engineering and Applied Sciences, also have their headquarters in the capital. The world's second largest general university by enrollment, Alama Iqbal Open University is located in Islamabad for distance education. Other universities include Air University, Baria University, Center for Advanced Studies in Engineering, Federal Urdu University of Arts, Science and Technology, Hamdard University, National University of Computer and Emerging Sciences, Capital University of Science and Technology, National Defense University, Shifa Tamer e Millet University, National University of Modern Languages, IQRA University. University, International Islamic University, Virtual University of Pakistan, Muhammad Ali Jinnah University The University of Lahore, Abasan University and the Millennium University College. Topic health care Islamabad has the lowest rate of infant mortality in the country at 38 deaths per thousand compared to the national average of 78 deaths per thousand. Islamabad has both public and private medical centers. The largest hospital in Islamabad is Pakistan Institute of Medical Sciences PIMS Hospital. It was established in 1985 as a teaching and doctor training institute. PIMS functions as a national reference center and provides specialized diagnostic and curative services. The hospital has 30 major medical departments. PIMS is divided into five administrative branches. Islamabad Hospital is the major component with a 592 bed facility and 22 medical and surgical specialties. The Children's Hospital is a 230 bed hospital completed in 1985. It contains six major facilities, surgical and allied specialties, medical and allied specialties, diagnostic facilities, operation theater, critical care NICU, PICU, isolation and accident emergency, and a blood bank. The Maternal and Child Health Care Center is a training institute with an attached hospital of 125 beds offering different clinical and operational services. 
PIMS consists of five academic institutes, Quaidi Azam Postgraduate Medical College, College of Nursing, College of Medical Technology, School of Nursing, and Mother and Child Health Center, PAEC General Hospital and Teaching Institute, established in 2006, is affiliated with the Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission. The hospital consists of a 100-bed facility and 10 major departments, obstetrics and gynecology, pediatric, general medicine, general surgery, intensive care unit, coronary care unit, orthopedics, ophthalmology, pathology, radiology, and dental department. Shifa International Hospital is a teaching hospital in Islamabad that was founded in 1987 and became a public company in 1989. The hospital has 70 qualified consultants in almost all specialties, 150 IPD beds and OPD facilities in 35 different specializations. According to the Federal Bureau of Statistics of the Government of Pakistan, in 2008 there were 12 hospitals, 76 dispensaries, and 5 maternity and child welfare centers in the city with a total of 5,158 beds. Transport Topic. Air Islamabad is connected to major destinations around the world through Islamabad International Airport. The airport is the largest in Pakistan and is located outside Islamabad in Fatajang. Topic. Public transport The Rawalpindi Islamabad Metrobus is a 24 km .9 miles bus rapid transit system that serves the twin cities of Rawalpindi and Islamabad in Pakistan. It uses dedicated bus lanes for all of its route covering 24 bus stations. This service covers a huge distance from city Sadar, Rawalpindi to Pak Secretariat, Islamabad. This service is very reliable and consistent, and the labor force as well as students are using this government-provided service on a daily basis. It has reduced the time consumption by reducing the route. Now this bus service is being extended to more areas in Islamabad that include areas near G13 and H12. Work is currently being done to keep it along the Kashmir Highway. Topic. Private transport People use private transport like taxis, Kareem and Uber for local journeys. In March, 2016, Kareem became functional in Islamabad and Rawalpindi with taxi services. Topic. Roadways. M2 motorway is 367 kilometers 228 miles long and connects Islamabad and Lahore. M1 motorway connects Islamabad with Peshawar and is 155 kilometers 96 miles long. Islamabad is linked to Rawalpindi through the Faizabad interchange which has a daily traffic volume of about 48,000 vehicles. Topic Sports Islamabad has a multi purpose sports complex opposite Arpara. It includes Liaquat Gymnasium for indoor games, Mushaf Squash Complex, and Jinnah Stadium for outdoor games, which is a venue for regular national and international events. 2004 SAF Games were held in the stadium. There is another multi-purpose sports complex in the F6 Marquez. It has tennis courts, a basketball court with fiber glass boards and a futsal ground which introduced artificial turf to the people of Islamabad. 
Major sports in the city include cricket, football, squash, hockey, table tennis, rugby and boxing. The city is home to Islamabad United, which won the first ever Pakistan Super League in 2016, and Islamabad All-Stars, which participates in the Super Kabaddi League. Islamabad also has various rock climbing spots in the Margala Hills. The Pakistan Sports Complex has three swimming pools for children. These facilities attract a large gathering on weekends. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Recreation places in Islamabad. Faisal Mosque Located in Islamabad, Pakistan, the Faisal Mosque is the largest mosque in South Asia and the fourth largest mosque in the world. Built in the year 1986, it was named after the late king of Saudi Arabia, Faisal bin Abdul Aziz, who backed and financed the construction. Topic. Trail 3 The most famous and old hiking track of Islamabad. Trail 3. It starts from the Margala Road Sector F6. The trail is exhausting to some extent, due to steep hills. The course will lead you to the which goes up to the viewpoint and is about a 30 to 50 minutes track. After the viewpoint you can continue on for another easy going 45 to 60 minutes and reach the PIR Sohoa, where you can choose from two restaurants for food, the Monal and La Montana. In total, it is approximately a 1 hour and 30 minute walk. <laughs> Pakistan National Monument Located in Islamabad, the Pakistan National Monument is a representation of the four provinces and three territories of the nation. Designed by the famous architect, Arif Masood, this blooming flower-shaped structure reflects the progress and prosperity of Pakistan. <laughs> Notable people Topic. Twin towns and sister cities Topic. See also Birds of Islamabad Climate of Islamabad Developments in Islamabad List of people from Islamabad